Hey, Terrence. I know it's kind of late to say this now, but I won't be coming home tonight. My mom misses me, so I'll be staying at her place. Feel free to go to bed without waiting up for me. No need to worry. I'll be perfectly fine. Oh, no, Jasmine. Not again. Seriously, this whole staying at your mom's place has been going on for almost a month now. We're married, remember? Shouldn't we be spending more time together? Terrence, please. Enough already. You know how important my mom is to me. She means the world to me. She's my everything. How could I possibly refuse when she clearly expressed how much she misses me? I mean, her teary puppy dog eyes are practically begging me to stay. It was impossible to resist. I get it. I get it. I know you miss your mom and all, but I thought you'd be past this by now. I mean, it's been a whole year since we got married. Ugh, what do you even get, huh? What do you know about the love of a mother? You're just a sad excuse for a man who was probably raised by a single father. So shut your damn mouth. You've no right to make any comments about me or my beloved mother. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please, relax. I'm sorry too, I just... I didn't mean to come across that way. But please, try to understand. I really need some alone time with my mom. You know how my emotions have been all over the place ever since I found out I'm pregnant, right? It's like being on a roller coaster, to be honest. Of course, I'm thrilled and excited about our little one, but at the same time, I'm also feeling nervous. I get it. This is your first pregnancy and it can be overwhelming. I understand you might feel uneasy and all, but am I not good enough for you? I mean, I've been trying my best. I've done everything I can to make our home comfortable for you. You mentioned your mom misses you, but I miss you too. I really want you, my wife, to spend more time here with me in our house. Are you really that stupid, Terrence? I clearly said I can't, so drop it already. Oh, and by the way, I took your credit card, so don't waste your time searching for it. Wait, what? You took my credit card? But why did you do that? So? You got a problem with it? We're married now, genius, so your money is my money too. Isn't that how it works in every marriage? Or are you just too damn stingy to spend a dime on your poor wife? Typical. No, not at all. I'm not the type of person who would deny buying things for his wife. But in this case, you just went ahead and took my credit card without even giving me a heads up. It's a bit disappointing, to be honest. <gasps> are you seriously angry with me right now? I can't believe you get all worked up over something so insignificant. Oh, I see. To you, money is more important than your own wife, right? I've had enough. I can finally see through your pathetic facade. You always pretend to care about me, but deep down, you're nothing but a stingy, worthless piece of trash. I hate you. What's going on with you? I'm not being stingy. I'm just trying to be practical and reasonable. By the way, can I ask what do you need the money for? Oh, please. Now you think you can dictate how I use my own money? Just because we're married doesn't mean I have to give up my personal life, you control freak. Just to enlighten you, I need the money to help my mom. All right? She's been seriously ill lately, and I want to assist her with the household expenses. Being a caring and responsible daughter, I can't just abandon my mom to handle everything on her own. Oh, okay. Got it. Hope you have a great time with your mom. Is that really all you have to say? I thought that after hearing the whole story, you would at least show some understanding or empathy. It feels like you're still acting completely indifferent. And what exactly do you expect me to do in this situation? Should I come to your mom's house, crying and begging for you to come back to our home? Wow, I can't believe you're so dense that you can't even understand what I'm getting at. The least you could do is offer to let me max out your credit card, or send me some more money to help my mom out. You're incredibly insensitive, Terrence. It's downright pathetic. Um... Are you really going to max out my credit card? I don't know, but you better believe I'll do whatever it takes to help my mom, even if it means emptying this credit card completely. Damn it, I can't stand being with a tightwad like you any longer. Just go to sleep, or better yet, drop dead for all I care. I'm done with you. Terrence, what the hell? What on earth am I seeing right now? Are these divorce papers? Hey, Jasmine, you're back early today, huh? Answer my question, damn it! Are you asking for a divorce? I can't believe you have the audacity, Terrence. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I think I want a divorce. Oh, really? Look who finally decided to drop the act, Terrence. 
So now that you've noticed I brought a defective child into this world, you're just gonna bail, huh? Abandoning both me and our baby girl, right? Well, hold on a minute. I never mentioned anything like that. Not even close. Actually, I've been thinking of claiming custody of her if you're okay with it, of course. But if you have any objections, let me tell you. I'm ready to fight tooth and nail for it. I'll give it everything I've got. Really? Let me make sure I understand this correctly. You not only want to dump me, but also have the audacity to snatch my daughter away? You're a despicable, self-centered jerk. How do you even manage to look at yourself in the mirror, huh? How do you sleep at night knowing you treat your family like garbage? Goodness, enough with the mind games already. I'm beyond fed up with it. I'll admit, sometimes you pulled off the whole victim act so convincingly that I actually started questioning if I was the one in the wrong here. I put in so much effort to patch things up, to bring us back to how we used to be. You know, like the good old days. But now, I've finally come to the realization that all my efforts have been utterly pointless. Let's cut to the chase, Jasmine. You don't love me anymore, do you? Wait, what? Where's all this coming out of the blue? Why am I being painted as the guilty one when it was you who demanded the divorce first? Hey, I don't even think about manipulating me into agreeing to divorce you. And don't you dare tell me, you've got some side chick, huh? Where the hell is she? I swear, the first time I see her, I'm gonna rip her face apart. Jasmine, let's get this straight. There's no other woman in the picture. Just you. You're the one who single-handedly destroyed our marriage. And you know what? I've been doing my own little investigation. And it seems like you've been spending a whole lot of time at the nightclub. Isn't that right? Investigation? Don't say that. Have you been creeping on me? Gross man. You've got some serious issues, Terrence. Straight up, sick in the head. I have not been stalking you, Jasmine. I've always respected your personal life and choices. I never doubted you when you said you were visiting your mom's place. But when it started happening too frequently, it raised some concerns. That's why I reached out to your friends, and they informed me that you've been going to the club even when you were pregnant with Maggie. Whoa, what? That's completely untrue. They must have fed you a load of lies. Well, actually, that might not be the case because I asked them to take a few pictures of you as evidence. Should I send them over now, or should I wait until the court date? Are you out of your mind? You're still hell-bent on getting a divorce and dragging this whole mess to court? Yes. I can't stand seeing poor Maggie stuck with an irresponsible mother like you anymore. So, for everyone's sake, just hurry up and get this divorce over with already. Enough is enough. Serves you right, Terrence. You lost custody of Maggie, you pathetic loser. She's mine now, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> what? What did you do, Jasmine? Why did things turn out like this? I can't believe this. Yeah, no surprise everything turned out like this, because you absolutely suck at parenting. Admit it already, you pathetic excuse for a father. I honestly have no clue why that social worker would go around saying such awful things about me. She had the nerve to tell the judge that I was a negligent father, as if I didn't care about our child during her entire hospital stay. You know that's not true, right? You know I was there by her side the entire time. I was there when she was born prematurely and spent those grueling five months in the NICU. I never left her side through the eight times she was in and out of the hospital. I was always there, supporting her and showing her my love and care. Oh, look who's here, full of pathetic excuses as always. So, how do you even begin to explain your little affair with your coworker Taylor, huh? That bitch. I swear, the moment I see her, I'm going to rip her damn head off her shoulders. I'll make sure that for the first time we meet will be the last for her. Alright, Jasmine, enough is enough. Stop dragging Taylor into this mess. She had absolutely nothing to do with our issues. This is between you and me. I have no clue where you got those pictures, but let me make it clear. I never had an affair with her. We simply talk, just like any other co-workers would. No, scratch that. Just like any normal human beings would interact with each other. And please, take a good look at those pictures. Is there any abnormal behavior that suggests we're having an extramarital affair? No! Not a single damn one! 
Ugh, just shut the hell up already. It's painfully obvious that you lack even one single redeeming quality to be Maggie's father. So stop living in your delusions and face reality. Maggie is mine now, and your role is to cough up that child support without any delays. Do you finally get the picture? Jasmine, I've arrived and I really want to see my daughter. Could you please open the door for me? It's important for me to spend time with her. What the hell do you think you're doing outside my house? Are you that ignorant? Do you even realize that you've been banging on my door like a maniac for a whole 30 minutes? Give it a rest already. Jasmine isn't here, neither is Maggie. So take your sorry self and get lost. Oh, wait a minute. Who is this? Is that you, Camilla? Jasmine told me that I could come and see Maggie today. Oh, really? I suppose my precious daughter has a sudden change of heart, huh? <laughs> anyway, do me a favor. Just get lost already. If you even dare to come close to this house, rest assured, I'll have your sorry ass arrested. Do you understand, you stupid, disgusting punk? What? That's just not fair at all. She clearly told me that I could visit and spend some private time with my daughter today. I can't believe she's pulling this stunt on me once again. When am I supposed to see my child then? I have every right to see her, you know? It's clearly stated in the separation agreement between Jasmine and me. You know what? Just relay this message to your daughter. If she keeps playing these games, I won't hesitate to call the police on her. The police? Ha! Huh. What a joke coming from a deadbeat absentee father like you. What right do you even have to voice your opinion? You've only bothered to visit Maggie a measly two times since you abandoned her. Two times in a whole freaking year. Shame on you. I bet you're already living it up with your new wife. Completely oblivious and uncaring about your disabled daughter, right? Let me make this perfectly clear to you, loser. As long as my daughter is under her roof, you will never get to see my little girl Maggie. Alright, enough with your mind games. Just tell me where Maggie is. Plain and simple. No more tricks. No more playing around. Just give me a straightforward answer. Maggie's in the hospital, you deadbeat. But why do you even care? You have a new perfect family now, don't you? Stop pretending like you give a damn about my granddaughter. It's nauseating. You're just a pathetic loser from a family full of losers. The only thing you've ever done right in your whole life was supply a tiny piece of DNA to help create this precious little girl Maggie. And that's it. Wait, hold on a second. Why didn't anyone bother to tell me about this? Is it the same hospital she's been going to? Camilla, please answer me. Camilla! Jasmine, are you there with our daughter at the hospital? Is she okay? Oh, look who's here. The deadbeat father finally showed up, huh? So now you're gonna put on this act like you actually care? Well, in case you don't know, Maggie's been sick and hospitalized for the whole week now. <sighs> I bet you're just as irresponsible as ever, aren't you? Well, no surprise there. Where is Maggie right now, Jasmine? Please, tell me where she is and how she's doing. We hit a milestone today. You couldn't even care less about it. What's the big milestone, Jasmine? And does it really matter at this moment? Can you just tell me where our daughter is so I can come and see her? Come and see her? Ugh, oh, that's rich coming from you. Aren't you supposed to be on a family trip with your precious UGH right now? What's the milestone, Jasmine? How is our daughter doing? Is she okay? Oh yeah? You'd know if you hadn't ditched her for another woman, you cheating scumbag. Seriously, are you really going to bring this up again? I thought we had moved past all of this. Let me make it crystal clear. I never cheated on you, alright? It was you who betrayed my trust. You didn't give a damn about me when we were living together. You were out of the club, hanging out with multiple men. But you were pregnant with my child at that time. So I kept my mouth shut and stayed by your side. I waited until Maggie was born and old enough before I finally divorced you. Isn't that enough for you? Do you think it was fun for me to endure a loveless marriage for that long? Ugh, you're so full of excuses, Terrence does not bother you even a tiny bit that our precious daughter was trying to crawl today and you weren't here to witness it? Sad, Terrence. Absolutely sad. So, that's the milestone you were not telling me about? No, it isn't. This is new. Doesn't matter. You weren't here to see it anyway. Look, can we just cut the drama and talk about where Maggie is right now? 
If she's sick and hospitalized, I want to see her. You made me a promise that I could see her today. No way. Maggie doesn't want to see you. She hates you. Just go away, you worthless deadbeat. Hey, Terrence. I didn't expect you to return so quickly. I thought the police would keep you away for a bit longer. <laughs> Are you insane or what? What the hell possessed you to call the police? What did you think would happen? Did you think I would allow you to waltz into the hospital and shoot me in the head? I'm not stupid. I have my rights. Both my daughters and I deserve to be safe and protected. Where on earth did that come from? When have I ever mentioned anything about shooting you in the head? Have you reached a whole new level of delusion or what? Do you not recall our last phone conversation? You explicitly threatened to harm and shoot every nurse in the hospital if they didn't allow you to see Maggie. What? No way. I never said anything like that. How could you just fabricate such blatant lies out of thin air? I said I was going to sue the hospital, not shoot. Is that what you called the police? You did it intentionally, didn't you? Oh, really? So you actually said sue instead of shoot? Oops, my bad. <laughs> I must have misheard. Well, what's done is done, right? We can't change it now. Yeah, you got arrested, but it wasn't for too long. Actually, it was way shorter than I anticipated. So cheer up. What on earth? This is absolutely absurd. All I've ever wanted is to spend time with my child. Why are you making it so difficult? By keeping my own daughter away from me, you're violating the law, and you well know it. Well, here's some bad news for you. I've already filed for a restraining order against you. Your uncontrollable behavior at the hospital, which is clearly captured on camera, pretty much guarantees that the order will be granted. You'll be out of our lives for good. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are you doing this to me? I see. It was all a setup, wasn't it? You deliberately orchestrated my downfall. You baited me and manipulated me to make me appear out of control. Just so you could use it against me. You wicked woman. What you're doing is both legally and morally wrong. I will make you pay for this, Jasmine. You won't get away with it. Mark my words. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. But I suggest you don't do anything crazy, or you'll end up running away in prison for the rest of your pathetic life. What is this all about, Terrence? Where is my granddaughter? How dare you steal her from me? Huh? Camilla? That's right, it's me, Maggie's grandmother. Who the hell do you think you are? Snatching her away from me and her poor mother, huh? You already have that lovely wife of yours, or should I say skank. Why the hell do you need Maggie? Is it because that sorry excuse for a woman you married can't pop out a child? Incompetent and barren, isn't she? Oh, Camilla, you're completely clueless. Didn't you bother to listen to a single word from Jasmine? She has actually lost custody of Maggie, and the court made that decision. Someone like her doesn't deserve to be Maggie's mother, okay? What? There's absolutely no way that's ever gonna happen, you dumbass. What the hell did you do, you piece of trash? You've got some nerve stealing a daughter away from her own mother. I swear you're gonna end up back in jail for this crap. Listen up, Camilla. I'll break it down for you once and for all. I didn't steal Maggie from Jasmine. I legally obtained custody. And I'm sure you're well aware of the reasons I lost custody of my own daughter before, aren't you? After all, you're the mastermind behind all this. What on earth are you talking about? And why do I even have to listen to whatever a deadbeat father like you has to say? Well, first of all, let's talk about that social worker, shall we? You paid her, didn't you? You paid her to provide false testimony in court about how I've been treating Maggie. But... but she... I know what you're trying to say. It was quite a challenge to track down that social worker because she was terrified and burdened with guilt for what she did. So much so that she quit her job and moved away shortly after you gained Jasmine custody of Maggie. But as I've made it abundantly clear to both you and Jasmine, I'll go to great lengths to assert my right to see my child, no matter the cost. And by the way, we all know where you got that money from to bribe the social worker. It's the cash Jasmine pocketed from selling all the jewelry and extravagant items she bought using my credit card. Did I hit the bullseye? Don't worry, I'll be demanding compensation for that as well. Every 
single penny she stole from me will be returned. Mark my words. Oh, give me a break. This is beyond ridiculous. Who the hell cares if your daughter spent your precious money? Still better than you squandering your daughter's money on some cheap, trashy witch you picked up on the street. Just hand over my granddaughter this instant or I'll call the cops and your life will be over. Wow. Look at you. So full of confidence. Bringing up authority in our conversation when it's crystal clear that you're the one in the wrong. Not only did you bribe the social worker to provide false testimony, but you also put Maggie's life in danger just to keep my side of the family away from her, didn't you? Wait, what? What kind of nonsense are you spouting right now, huh? Let me refresh your memory about what actually went down. You were the one who instructed the social worker to turn off Maggie's oxygen, and then had the audacity to blame my mom for it, didn't you? Oh, what's this now? When are you going to quit with your delusional accusations, you stupid punk? Oh, I guarantee you. I've got all the evidence in the world to support my claims. And even the social worker is prepared to take responsibility for her mistake. She deserves some time behind bars, that's for sure. But since she's finally decided to come clean and share the truth, her punishment might be less severe. However, I highly doubt that'll be the case for you. Oh, really? You think you're so clever, huh? But what about you? Who can guarantee that you didn't grease the palms of that social worker to paint a positive picture of yourself? If it were true that we bribed her, wouldn't it also imply that she received some hefty payment from you to spew a bunch of lies? Oh, no, no. You see, she was clever enough to anticipate this. That's why she documented every time you handed her money. She even set up hidden cameras to capture all the despicable things you and Jasmine said and forced her to do. I can't help but wonder if you're prepared to witness the damning footage of yourself, though. No. It can't be. It just can't be. So, have you finally come to terms with the truth? If you can manage to behave yourself, I might consider allowing you to see your granddaughter. Don't fret. However, you'll just have to patiently wait until you've completed your prison sentence before you can pay her a visit. Terrence, this is Jasmine, your ex-wife. Give me back my daughter right away. Who do you think you are taking her away from me like this? You've absolutely no right. I won't let you and that tramp raise my daughter. No way in hell. I swear, the next time I see her, I'm going to slap her head off. Hello, Jasmine. It's Lucy. I initially wanted to let Terrence handle this on his own, but I just can't hold back any longer. You know what? Thank you for divorcing Terrence. It turned out to be the best decision you've ever made because it led me to find an amazing husband. Now, I have a few words for both you and your mother. You're both vindictive, jealous, and habitual liars. Terrence has done everything in his power to avoid messing things up with you two. He didn't want his daughter to witness your constant fighting, so he restrained himself from involving the police when you repeatedly denied him the right to see his own child. Oh, what's this? Lucy? And what gives you the audacity to text me? You're nothing but a lowly whore who stole my husband and tore my family apart. How dare you even think you have the right to reach out to me? Jasmine, listen to me. I did not steal your husband. We met and fell in love after your divorce. And you? You've been absolutely terrible to Terrence. Can you even understand how much it crushes him to not be able to see his own daughter? Do you know the pain he feels when you constantly rub in his face the milestones that Maggie achieves while he's never allowed to be there to witness them? I know, because he confides in me every single day. He cries and expresses how deeply he misses Maggie. It's gotten to the point where he can barely eat, sleep, or focus on his work. Oh, bullshit. You're just a stranger. Stay out of our family business. No, Jasmine. You're dead wrong. You're not his family anymore. I am. It's high time for you to let go and stop using your own daughter as a pawn to seek revenge on your ex-husband. From now on, Terrence, Maggie, and I will form a true family unit. As for you, well, you can spend your time in jail reflecting on every single misdeed you've committed. Goodbye. Afterward, both Jasmine and her mother were brought to court to answer for their crimes. It was revealed how they had repeatedly bribed the social worker to fabricate evidence against me and deliberately kept my daughter away from me. They were not only ordered to compensate me for the damages, but also sentenced to jail. 
It felt like a just punishment for all the pain and suffering they had caused me by driving a wedge between me and my daughter. Finally, after all this time of only being able to see my daughter through photographs, the moment came when I could be with her in person. She had grown so much, and despite the distance, there was an instant connection when she saw me. Holding her in my arms was an indescribable feeling, one I wished could last forever. It was an emotional experience for both me and Lucy to witness her taking her first steps on her own. Lucy expressed her desire to postpone having our own child so that we can focus on raising Maggie and strengthen our bond with her. I genuinely feel like the luckiest guy in the world now, having a wonderful wife and daughter by my side.